Okay, it is time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined for that by Catalina Marchand de Abreu. Uh, welcome to the programme, Catalina. Today we're going to be debunking some claims of Ukrainians staging Russian attacks. Tell us a bit more about these. So this video right here is being shared by pro-Russian accounts on social media uh, to fuel this theory of a staged war in Ukraine. So let's take a look at this Twitter post right here. This one, for instance, from October 15th, and it's reached over 1,000 retweets and over 2,000 likes. Uh, the post reads, Ukrainian staging video of damage, abandoned Russian vehicle, looks like Hollywood is taking part in this war. So Hollywood, where we're going to see a lot uh, during, through these uh, posts. And this video attached with over 54,000 views. So let's take a look at the, another tweet, another example right here. Uh, this uh, Twitter user saying, Ursula von der Leyen will send some euros, a billion euros after this dramatic video, uh, claims of Hollywood once again. Uh, with this video, the same video that's being attached with over 96,000 views on social media and 2,000 retweets. Uh, so a video that's been getting a lot of attention on uh, Twitter. Uh, this video and this post has even been shared on uh, French social media accounts. This one by Russie Info, so Russia Info, uh, claiming that in addition to being a Nazis, uh, referring to Ukraine, they are also manipulators. Their president, uh, Zelensky, being an actor, they know how to do it. So let's take a look at this video right here that's being shared with these posts. Uh, we have the video where uh, we can see right here, uh, indeed, we could see a filming crew, uh, actors and props, and we can see this, what is allegedly a Russian uh, tank uh, being staged in uh, to uh, this production. So a video that some users are sharing on uh, social media uh, to claim that Russian attacks are being staged by Ukraine. Tom. Okay, uh, and this video wasn't only shared by uh, Russian accounts, there was it. Some Ukrainian ones have been sharing it too. The same footage was also shared by Ukrainian accounts uh, to show this spelling mistake right here that we could see in both uh, screenshots of this uh, allegedly Russian uh, tank. Uh, what it says on right here, it says it's written to Berlin, as in the German capital. Uh, however, it's misspelled in both Russian and Ukrainian spelling. Uh, its comparison in English uh, to this uh, spelling mistake would be uh, to Berlin uh, with a Y or even with an I as well. Uh, so as this Twitter user points out, so uh, this spelling mistake drew a lot of attention on uh, social media uh, amongst uh, users, pro-Ukrainian users that were uh, mocking this alleged Russian uh, spelling mistake on these alleged Russian tanks. So as this user points out, with the spelling mistake to Berlin, uh, they can't even spell it right, referring to the Russians with the spelling mistake right here in the tank. Uh, we have another tweet right here, a bit similar, claiming further on to Berlin with the misspelling mistake. And this tweet's reached over 1,000 retweets and 9,000 likes on Twitter as well. So this photo was even reposted uh, by officials uh, in Ukraine uh, right here by Anton Jerichenko in his Telegram channel. He is the official advisor to the Ministry of Interior in Ukraine. So he claims uh, Putin's literate people decided to denazify Ukraine, but on the way they forgot the complicated award. So a piece of misinformation uh, that was also used uh, by pro-Ukrainian accounts uh, to mock the alleged illiteracy of uh, Russian soldiers. Tom? Mm, it's very familiar to people who follow the war in, in Syria, where there were all these claims of staged, uh, filmed scenes and so on. Uh, so where does this video really come from then, Catalina? As you can see, uh, this footage right here created a big flurry of misinformation online on uh, both Ukrainian and uh, Russian sides, considering that this right here is not even a real uh, tank being used during this war. This tank actually belongs uh, to a film production on the war called Ukrainian 
uh, war stories, uh, according to this Ukrainian news website on Telegram, Dumskaya. Uh, and here's the director's name of this film uh, called Vladimir uh, Nagorny. Uh, you can see that this post was posted on October 15th as well. Uh, so uh, the same day that this fake news started spreading on uh, Twitter. So here's the director of the film who on Facebook, on his Facebook page, he uh, wrote, uh, he wrote uh, referring to this as spelling mistake on Berlin as we saw right here and he says that this was made intentionally it was a mistake made intentionally uh, claiming that this is a collective image that shows the widely known ignorance and disorientation of the liberators quote uh, referring to the Russians uh, so referring to what he calls their illiteracy as well so uh, no uh, this right here this is not a uh, this is not Ukraine uh, staging the war uh, or Russians being illiterate. This footage belongs to a Ukrainian a film production uh, called Ukrainian War Stories that is set to premiere soon on November 15th. Tom? Okay. Katalina Marchandiabro, thank you very much indeed for today's edition of Truth or Fake.